Welcome back to Dangerous Pacholi with Suwako. So a couple things I learned, because this is the first time that I've had a chance to respond to the comments on the very first video that went up, was, um, for one, I wasn't running on the... Squeaky. I wasn't running on the most recent version of the game. I think when I was looking at the Wayback Machine um, at the website, I wasn't actually on the most recent date. I thought I was, but I was not. I was close, but not actually there. But what that means is there's an update patch for this that I got. Um, so now we're running on the most recent version, which is 1.21. I think before I was running on 1.10. Uh, the only real difference between the versions is the image on the title screen has changed, and a lot of bugs have been fixed. So, there you go. Bug fixing. Um, somebody has also been kind enough to translate the intro. If you go back and check the comments to video one, I think it was Kuma. Uh, to actually translate what's going on in the game. And I mentioned here that I didn't really know what was going on. That they were saying it seemed like they were just kind of bantering back and forth. Um, Suwako is saying, hey, the frogs say the mansion's going to sink. And then they're both just kind of like, I wonder what that means. And then it sinks. As somebody else found um, on, the on the website, and I don't know how I missed this. Maybe it's because I wasn't on the most, um, I wasn't far enough ahead in the w with the Wayback Machine. Um, but uh, we do have now more solid reason as to why the guy took down his website. And as it turns out, he just wanted to move on from games. I'm not entirely sure why, but he was he was just done making games. Um, and that's fair. Uh, you do everything you wanted to do, you have a good time with it, and then you just kind of grow and decide that, like, I had a good time, but I think it's time to do something else with my time. Um, so he left the website up for a number of years, because I think the last game, this, came out in, like... 14? And I think it was 2017 or so when the website actually went down. And he he just said, like, I just don't want the website up doing nothing. Um, it's sit like it's sitting there. I don't want to lead people into thinking I'm still going to make anything or anything is going on, so I'm going to take the website down. So he did, and that's that. I mean, altogether, that's an alright ending. Um, the website didn't actually host any of the games themselves anyway. Uh, you had to buy them through Comicats or... I don't know if he actually sold any online. Like, most of them, most of what he, I think he sold was through uh, cons. So, it wasn't like you were losing access to the games. Uh, you did lose access to the patches, I guess, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and get diving back in to video games. I think it's this option. Um, yes. Rodo. Hi. So we are on the extra stage. I'm still not entirely sure of the plot other than, that, like, I don't know. Uh, something's up. Let's go beat somebody up and get a house. So that's that. Um, one thing that I did discover to make my life a lot easier. A, as we discovered last time. Um, is it purple? Yeah, this cancels bullets, so that's cool. I wonder if all of the solid ones, like I wonder if these cancel bullets too. And it's just these that don't. Interesting to, interesting to find out. Um, another minor thing was I had a lot of problems with the plus sign block puzzle. And some of that was that you, and I think I cut this out, you cannot modulate your jump. Um, you will jump this high no matter what. The lightest tap, anything, you will always go full height. And I did eventually, after the fact, realize that you can modulate your jump. Maybe you can. 
There we go. You can modulate your jump by attacking with this. Um, yeah, you can't do it with that one or that one. It has to be this one that you can modulate your jump with. Oh, I wonder if that's going to come into play in, in the masochist mode. Probably. Um, what else do we have? I also realize now that I probably could have saved myself a lot of headache by saving my game. Because, like, boy howdy, did I get to the boss and I was nervous as all heck, going like, what if I die to this boss, I gotta play the whole thing again. Save. That's what save games are for. I don't actually understand exactly how saves work, so you know what, let's just conduct an experiment right now. Um, Sebu. Hi. Uh, Roro. Hi. Hmm. So we're back here. Points are gone. I don't have any points. Wonder if it'll take me back to room transitions. Or maybe that has something to do with it. Hold up. Let's just experiment. Seven. Hi. Hold on. Hi. Hey. I haven't been doing that this entire time. Good thing I figured it out now before I do anything harder. Okay, so you press it down on these and it saves. Like checkpoints, I guess. Um, so extra mode is pretty short, actually. It introduces a new gimmick. Flip flop. So I think the flip flop is, it's very obvious how he did it, but I still think it's neat. Um, specifically when you touch it, how it, uh, how it screenshots the room and flips the screenshot. So it, you understand what's going on, it's conveyed well, um, and it gives the impression that all they did was rotate the room upside down. In reality, they did not. Um, there are two separate root encoding, not. I'm a game dev casually, okay? I think about this stuff. Um, there's a second room that's just this room, but upside down, that it teleports you to at the same coordinate, or flipped coordinate. Um, that's kind of why you don't flip perfectly, and some things, some things flip, like, uh, the door graphic, let's say. Like, some things do flip correctly. Well, I'm never getting that point. Never mind, I did. Got him. Okay, so we see the funky thing here of like, hey, how do you hit that? I want that switch. Well, you gotta go to your green and shoot it. while it's in the lowered position. There we go, we can get gone. Okay, so this one's gonna be funky because, how did I do this before? Ah, ha ha. Momentum. I will never get that point. Got it. Okay, so that's your introduction to the gimmick, so to say. Now, we get to use it. You can see right there, the level is relatively small. Go ahead and save while we're here.
and it pretty much revolves around you moving around this room. Now I gotta go back up. Is there anything good I can get to? I mean, I kind of want to get these now. Oh, man. Did it. I wanted to get those, but I didn't want to fall! Good job, me. Uh, there was nothing else over there anyway. Well, technically there was. There's like a door. We'll get to that door eventually. You gotta be careful over here because you jump up and you hit those spikes. There we go, give me that. And I mentioned before that um, Patchouli is kind of the kind of the king of the game. I mean, of the game. You, It's just easier to do, like, everything with this patchy. But, that's why there's increased difficulty modes as well, which, um, as I mentioned before, are they're almost like completely different games. It's not just, oh, it's this, but the enemies do more damage and there's spikes in more places. Like, completely new level design. And I'm sure that design will make you uncomfortable. Okay, so let's go ahead and start checking out doors in here, I guess. Okay. Can't do anything there. We have to get to that room upside down. All the enemies are back. Um, we have to get to this room upside down. And we can't really get up anywhere from here, so there's our only option. But I mentioned that, like, oh, the door's graphic isn't flipped right. And, like, it'd be really easy to flip graphics in code. Like, oh, you touched the flippy thing. Okay, flip some graphics, too. But, like, you can tell not everything lines up quite right. And it would be far easier... Do I, like, lose anything for saving a ton? What do I get? What if I lose rank or something? For, like, loading a save. We'll find out, I guess. Okay, we flipped the world. Now we can go in other places. So I think my first goal is going to be going down. Flip the world back. Okay, so I'm not touching that right side up. Get up. Okay, so if I hit... Before I hit the flippy thing, let's take a look at the world in front of us. So I flat out cannot get up there. I can get those if I really wanted to. Do 
do like the little edge grab that shoves you down, make your life just a little bit easier. Okay, so we want that, obviously. But if I shove this box in... I can't get out. So what we're going to have to do is flip the world. And now we can shove this around. But if I did heck up, how is it that I hecked up? I'm not convinced I hecked up. I can just do that. And that'll let me get you and then hop up. Okay, so we have a door up there. If we rotate the room, there's also stuff we can get back a couple of rooms. Let's go see what's through here. Okay. Should make life a little bit easier. this as Suwaka. And then we can get you. All right, we did it. I, I think that's that whole loop, too. So at this point, there is... I have to flip the world. Can't do it, though. in the wrong order, but whatever, it worked. Okay, so let's flip the world. Then we gotta go back down here, and we gotta flip the world again. Okay, so I think I need that red key before I can actu actually do anything. So that means I gotta do this, then I gotta go back over here, and I gotta rotate the world again. from there, which should let us go... Okay, this is just like a... Heck.
have to approach this from the other side. Okay, let's go in here and reset the room. And then we should be able to approach from the other side. There's spikes there. That's dangerous. Alright, we do this so we can Mario World this door. There we go. Open these. That's our last chest. There's our save. There's our save save. We can flip. And that lets us go down here to fight the boss. Just that easy. Ah, uh, so what do I want to use as my boss killer? Uh, red. I'll use red, but I'll keep this on standby. I'll keep that on standby. Okay, you cannot move while shooting, and that threw me off, and I'm not sure why. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, thank you. Quit hitting me and die. Dang it. Okay, up and down is easy. And then we just cancel bullets. Okay, so you see when the bullets are black, they like phase through everything. This should be the last one. I'm reading it right. Yeah, we did. Yeah, you can see the little five stars inside the health thing. That's how many spell cards. Not a hard fight. Not bad. It even counted. Yay! That means I'm allowed to save. Oh, I didn't actually save. Whoops. Plot! What's going on? Google Translate, help. You recognize that it's sex? Yes. I have no idea. Uh, what are you gonna do? I'd like some company. Oh man, the shipping's already started. Don't know what the bottom one. There's hot springs somewhere. Can't tell what that bottom says. It's all multicolored and heck. Anyway, we beat the game. That was extra. Extra wasn't that bad, really. I'm surprised. Did we actually get end credits? After normal? Or after the previous stage? Or do we only get them now? Well, anyway, um, this was the final game that UTG made. Um, I actually think it's a real solid game. I do. I mentioned this before. Um, got a lot of charm to it. Got a lot of interesting ideas to it. And we've only scratched the surface. This was effectively easy mode. And I'm at least going to play through the next difficulty. I don't think our, the level design changes a lot. We did it. Yeah, there we go. Um, so that was normal. I, I'm going to play through Hyper. 
I may just poke my head into another and masochism. I'm probably not going to heck, heck with the boss rush. So yeah, until next time, everybody, we're going to dive into hyper mode. I don't, plot-wise, I don't think anything is different. I think it's the same game. Just, you know, completely different levels. Maybe a vague resemblance to their original form. Until next time, everyone.